morning guys. I just wanted to do a video on the dollar. Um, we're long euro dollar here. Um, we got our move and now we're looking for another one. Um, I think we are having, well it's, it's obvious, we're having a dollar pullback. It's obvious. Um, this, as you can see here, look, actually, if, what we need to do is go to a four hour time frame on everything because right off the bat we can't see shit. Okay. Right, this is better. Here is the giveaway. Dollar Swiss has gone up uh, quite noticeably uh, in comparison to the rest of them since the open of the week. So this is telling us that this uh, dollar has gone up against the Swiss on Swiss weakness, not on dollar strength for the first time in a long time. Um, so what it's looking to me is we're going to get some sort of up move here against the dollar. And we're going to go to the Swiss to find out which one will best one uh, and then get the fix. Um, but you can see right here that the, the last fake move when it should have worked when dollar was strong was uh, I believe I suppose it's about here right this everything went down from this point right and then euro kind of kind of died. Now it's Euro holding because of Euro uh, uh, Swiss uh, weakness or is Euro holding because of Euro strength is the question. Okay. So what we need to do in order to find that out is we need to go to the next strongest one and we need to find out from that, if Euro is actually showing us true strength, or is it showing us a move uh, based on the, the weakness of the other one, like Dollar Swiss. Uh, but this is our first clue here. We want to be in before these levels are taken out. We don't want to be late. We want to be in early. We don't want to chase things. We don't want to jump in and all that stuff. Jumping in is not good. We don't want to do that. Jumping in is amateur work. We need to be uh, organized uh, as much as possible. Um, let's change these indexes over and we are just going to look at Euro on its own. This is how you get caught, right? Because all of a sudden, the move just dies, and you don't know why. Well, it's, this is why it dies, I think. Uh, one of the reasons, anyway. So the Euro Swiss is showing us a bigger move. So let's find out if Euro is up more against the Swiss than the dollar is. Uh, how do we do that? Well, Euro Swiss is up 68. So that's telling us right there, guys. Okay, the numbers, they tell you everything. So we need to remain long uh, 
euro dollar. Uh, just, just that. That's it. It's that simple. It tells us here. So we've done our uh, investigation now. How do we enter this on a local level? It's it's like a story, okay? This whole thing is a story. You you got to put the story together, and it might take a couple of days. It might you might find the story already on Sunday night. Uh, if you don't, just it just it just means it's okay. It's fine. You just got to wait, and then you'll find the story. And once you find the story, you hit it all in, all in as much as possible. And you don't back down. Don't let the small time frame change your mind. Don't let any of the shit get into practice of literally going all in when you know you're confident. Um, and, you, and you've got the story worked out. Uh, and, and don't be shy. Just hit it. Do it on a demo account a million times until you see it works uh, every time. Uh, that's what I do anyway. Uh, because I believe that we should know every time where this is going. 100% time like I've explained to you before um, because it's our job right? we, we should not, not be guessing we're not here to guess so we will just look at it this way okay euro is stronger than dollar very simple uh, LFX created this move or this is our move to look at um, CAD looks pretty weak uh, Euro appears to be stronger, uh, and pound is uh, in line with this, but weaker. Uh, Swiss is uh, with this here, and this close. It's showing us a little strength, but I'm not ready for this yet. No, we wait. But we want to see a strong Swiss and a strong Euro. We want to see Euro being stronger than this Swiss. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, dollar is still stronger at this point than LFX. And New Zealand is weak. about the same. Okay. So right here, if we look here, I'll show you what we'll do. We'll draw a brand new just randomly do it. Yeah. And what we're expecting to see is euro above the level and uh, dollar below the level. Okay. Uh, and then we'll put it up here. Very important. It's going to tell us. We look at this like it's the middle. Another way to look at this, which I have shown people before, um, is here. So we knew last night that we would get a uh, dollar down move um, because it simply had to had to catch the uh, the, the yens. Uh, they were down, so the the chance of it being able to sustain itself uh, is is not a lot. So that was our first clue that we're going to get a weak dollar. Now with that, with the Swiss, it's like, okay, I think this is going to happen. Um, this Swiss will need to come back up here as well at some point. Uh, because the middle is here, the, the green one, the LFX is this green one, like the main green one, like this color. So that's where the average price is. Swiss is out of whack. It needs to come back. But we're not just going to go and buy Swiss. We're expecting to see Swiss strength. It's why I'm into this one. Um, because uh, I 
looks like it's going to have to have to work. One second, my phone's going. I'll just uh, press pause. Right. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I don't know why people call me at this time. I've told them a thousand times not to call at this time, but people do call. And uh, we are back here now, and what we're expecting to see is a uh, strong euro relative to uh, dollar. Uh, what are we seeing now? Uh, dollar is below the level, uh, and euro is below the level. Uh, the CAD is below the level. Uh, LFX is at the level. Pound is above it. Uh, Swiss is now above it. Dollar is holding strong, and New Zealand is a little low, slash, in the middle. Um, now we're just simply expecting this to go up here, and it's and it's not because of these levels, right? <coughs> Excuse me. The, these levels have nothing to do with anything. All these these levels are. Do we're doing is, is allowing us to gain a perspective, a relative perspective of price relative to everything else. That's all we're doing. Okay. It's got nothing to do. The, the reason price bounces off of these levels is simply a coincidence. It's not real. It's, it's in a, a total and utter illusion is what we're doing here. None of this is real. Okay. Get this out of your head. So we're, we're not scared of any of this stuff. Maybe it's going to bounce off here. Maybe it's going to drop down because of this and all this. And what if this cross is there and all this stuff? No. You, you have the, 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 the law. We have to have the part of the story in mind. And then we expect all this shit to happen. So we're in early and then we can be comfortable during this move because we're already expecting this to happen. Like if we weren't expecting dollar to be here weaker currently look it's it's weaker than euro is relative to this level uh it, we, and relative to this one it's like okay they're both pretty close uh euro's showing a little bit more strength you know because it's not dropping as sharp here uh but really what's going to make this go up is uh continued aussie strength new zealand popping there uh, pound continuing uh, and CAD going sideways, that will lead to Euro going up. So it's got nothing to do with anything else. We just need that to get on the right side of that uh, currency funnel flow, uh, whatever the hell it is that is happening here. And um, we're just going to watch it. So we're going to expect this to go sideways, this to break down, Euro to maybe come into here and, and bounce, whatever. Uh, we want to see a, a strong LFX and a dollar separating, or an LFX that's weak with a euro going sideways and a USD going down. That's what we're looking for now, and we simply hold. Uh, we'll go ahead and buy the pound as well. We just did that. Why? Because pound is above the level, and uh, dollar is below the level. Uh, pound is stronger than the LFX uh, at this point in time. Uh, now, where people might freak out during this is they've, they've drawn this and they're thinking, okay, this is all going to fall apart for me. It's not going to work. Uh, well, go up a time frame, okay, and then look at it again. Okay, this was the level, 15 minute, right? The level we drew is here. Okay, we are. What are we doing here? We're below the level. And the dollar is. below the level. So they're showing us literally the same thing, right? Nobody's going to catch this. They, nobody has a clue what's going on here. 
So they're all getting trapped. People are measuring this shit out and all this stuff. No, this is going to go, the euro is going to go up. Why? Because of what we just discussed. Dollar is only showing strength against Swiss, which is indicating dollar is weak. It's moving up fakely. So the money is going to have to funnel through into the other currencies to reflect that on the close of the day or the week whenever they decide to print the next numbers. Uh, so how is that going to work? It's going to mean that euro and pound dollar uh, will have to go up, uh, at least for the short term. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, just monitor the 15 minute. You want to see this coming slower than USD. If that's happening, simply hold the euro dollar. Uh, we'll look here. Uh, we see uh, pound is uh, above the level and holding. Uh, euro is below the level. Uh, and dollar is below the level. We will anticipate this, 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 something like that. And... I don't, we're not going to anticipate anything on LFX because LFX tells us what's happening. Uh, anyway, I hope that made sense. I wanted to make a clear video of today. Uh, if it doesn't make sense, I'm sorry. I'll make another one and hopefully that will make sense. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys. I'll catch you all later.